hello everyone welcome back to the channel before i get into the reasons why visa applications are denied or rejected and what to do if that happens i want us to look at a new development there's been a new development with our friend from ghana you remember mr s i talked about in the other video it appears mr s is taking on the home office mr s is not going down without a fight now something interesting has developed i have an article in front of me and it seems that people are rallying behind Mr. S, the man who came to the UK in 1977 at the age of 28 on a student visa. And then he worked several jobs, paying his taxes and so forth, only to discover 45 plus years later that actually he is an illegal immigrant. He has got no right to stay in the UK. So this is the situation. And now it appears as if Mr. S is not going down without a fight. He is taking on the home office. And also people are actually supporting Mr. S. They are rallying behind him to the point of raising money for him. And so far as we speak, 30,000 pounds has been raised. People have actually set up a fundraiser, a fundraiser campaign to raise money to support Mr. S as he challenges the home office. So, so far, 30,000 pounds has been raised and he's being called a local legend. Because mind you, he's been here since 1977 and he's done several jobs, paying his taxes and he served as a juror before and he's actually been awarded a bravery award. So to me, it appears as if we're talking about someone who has got integrity someone who has been the pillar of society. All I can say is kudos to him and I wish him all the best as he challenges the home office. Now let's get into today's video. What are some of the reasons, common reasons, why visas are rejected? And we can learn from Mr. S's situation. The first reason I want to talk about is to do with forms. And as we have learned from Mrs. S's story, he filled out the wrong form. So if you fill out the wrong form, your visa application will get rejected because obviously you've started things on the wrong foot. You're filling out the wrong form. You're making the wrong application altogether. That's what it basically means. So that's the first reason. One of the common reasons why visa applications are rejected. The second reason is you put the wrong information on that visa application. When you're filling out your application, if you misspell your name, or if you put the wrong date of birth, then guess what? The Home Office has got no choice but to deny you a visa. Because if, for instance, I write my name correctly, it's Bertha Mkotzani, and I spell everything correctly. But when it comes to filling out my date of birth, I put the wrong date of birth. Guess what? The Home Office has got no way of proving that. I am actually who I say I am. They can't match up the two. Because yes, my name is correct. There's someone called Betham Kodzani out there, but the date of birth is wrong. So they can't match me. There's no proof. They can't prove it. So if you put the wrong information on your application form, then in such a situation, your visa application will or may get rejected. I know we all make mistakes. No one is perfect and mistakes are common. But unfortunately, when you make a mistake, the Home Office has got no choice but to deny you that visa. And of course, I'm going to cover that in the next session of this video when I talk about what to do if and when your visa is rejected. The third reason why visa applications are rejected or denied is you don't have sufficient evidence to support your application. If, for instance, you say you're coming to the UK, if you're applying from outside of the UK, that is, if you say you're coming to the UK to visit your sister, or you're coming to visit your brother, your mother, whatever reason that you put on that application. If you don't provide the Home Office with sufficient evidence to support your application, then the Home Office will or may reject your application. Because with every application, the Home Office asks for supporting information. They ask for that evidence. So it is crucial that when you launch your application or way before you launch your application, it is crucial that you gather all the evidence that you need. Which brings me to my next point, which is insufficient funds. One of the common reasons why visa applications are denied is to do with insufficient funds, especially if you're applying from outside of the UK. If, for instance, you're applying from Zimbabwe and you say that you want to come to the UK to visit, you want to visit for a week, two weeks, three weeks, whatever amount of time that you put on that application. If you don't provide sufficient evidence showing that you can support yourself 
when you come to the UK during your visit, then the Home Office has got no choice but to deny you a visa. Because what you need to look at is how much you need to survive in a day. For instance, if you need 50 pounds to take you through one day, if that's the average amount that is needed, and if you're coming for a week, then you need to show at least 50 times seven days. Because if that 50 pounds covers food, transport, accommodation, the things that you need during your visit, then in your bank account, you must show that you have sufficient funds to take you through that one week. Another reason as well why your visa application may get rejected is you don't provide sufficient evidence to prove that you have ties to your home country. For example, if you're applying to visit the UK or US, whatever country that you're applying to go to, if you say you're coming to visit for a week, two weeks, then in such a situation, the Home Office will require you to provide evidence that you've got ties to your home country or to provide evidence that you actually have the intention to return to your home country if you apply to come as a visitor, that is. So it all depends on what kind of application you're launching. If you're applying for a student visa, then the Home Office will need to see evidence, evidence that you've been accepted at a university or institution that actually allows you to be granted that visa. Because not all institutions can sponsor you to come to the UK. And the same goes for when you are in the UK. So there are rules and guidelines stipulated when it comes to that. The same goes for any type of visa. Whatever it is that you're applying for, the Home Office will require to see supporting evidence. So a lack of evidence is one of the reasons why visa applications are denied or rejected. Another reason why your visa application will or may get rejected by the Home Office is if you've been denied a visa in the past. Depending on the reason why your visa application was denied in the first place and the conditions that were placed on that refusal. If, for example, you were denied your application and the Home Office said that you cannot reapply for another 10 years, for another five years, for another six months, then if you try to apply before that time has lapsed, then your visa application will or may get rejected. So it all depends on your situation. Another reason as well why visa applications are denied is to do with criminal record. This one is a no brainer. Again, depending on what type of crime you committed and what conditions are placed on that crime. Because in my other video, I talked about acts of terrorism and I gave examples of those peoples whose British citizenships were actually revoked. Again, as I've said in my other videos, the Home Office will look at cases individually. They will look at visa applications on a case by case basis. This is why you can't say that, oh, simply because someone's visa application was rejected or was accepted, then mine will be rejected or will be uh, accepted as well. You can't look at things like that. The Home Office will look at your situation and then they'll look at the evidence in front of them. And then based on that, they will come up with a decision. So what do you do when and if your visa application is denied or rejected? The first thing, and this one is the easiest and usually the quickest option, is you can appeal. You can appeal that decision by the Home Office if you're able to provide evidence to support your appeal. Usually the Home Office will give you grace period. They'll give you time to appeal. They won't just check you out immediately like that unless your situation is unique and it warrants that. And as I always say, it all depends. It all depends on your circumstances. So before you appeal, what I would advise is you seek legal advice. If you can't afford an immigration lawyer, then you can go to the Citizens Advice Bureau who will be able to help you in your situation. They will be able to point you in the right direction because the last thing you want is to launch that appeal and only to get rejected again, which is why it is always wise to seek legal advice. The second thing you can do is you can ask for a review of that decision. If you can prove that the immigration broke a law when they made that decision. You can actually go to court and argue your case. But again, there's a process that you need to follow, which is why, again, I would advise you to seek legal advice. If you've got sufficient grounds to prove that the decision was unlawful or unfair. So seek legal advice because the last thing you want to do is to ruin your chances of winning your case. The last thing you can do if and when your visa application is rejected or denied is you can relaunch your application you can restart the process again. But this will depend 
on the conditions that are placed on that visa refusal or visa denial. Because let's say, for instance, when your visa was rejected or denied, the Home Office said that you cannot reapply for another six months, for another two years, for another five years, for another 10 years, whatever amount of time that is stipulated when your visa application was denied. And if you try to apply before the six months, before the two years, before the 10 years, then in such a situation, the Home Office may or will reject your visa application because you haven't yet met the conditions of your original visa denial. And the last thing I'll say is whatever situation that you're facing when it comes to visa rejections and visa denials, whatever reasons that are given, whatever your circumstances are, it is always wise to seek clarification from the Home Office itself because the Home Office will be able to explain exactly why it is that they denied your visa application. It is always best to go back to the source. And the next best thing is to seek legal advice. Talk to an immigration lawyer and they know how to handle these situations because that's their job. So this is what I had for you in this video. If you've got something to add, then by all means, feel free to chip in in the comment section. And before you go, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. With that being said, we've come to the end of this video. I'll see you next time. Take care.